This is a sliding gag. It can be used on a big variety of horses. The cutters love it. The barrel horses love it. It's something that you can, you get pressure from over the pole with a stainless steel crown from the corners of their mouth here. The key to the whole gag is the quick release that the nylon rope gives you. A horse learns from the release, not the pull, but you have to pull to get the release. It's available in three different mouthpieces, a chain mouthpiece, a medium twisted wire mouthpiece, and a common snaffle. This is a string martingale. There's lots of them on the market, all price ranges. This one has stainless steel rings, has a stainless steel snap. It's adjustable to the cinch and around the neck. And one of the unique features of this one, it has a safety hobble strap. When you're on a colt without this, you ask him to put his head down, the neck strap can run up to his ears and it will always hang there. It won't come back to you. It goes to their head, but, and then he's trying to fall over backwards and you're trying to reach it. This is a very important little tool and it's all about safety. When you go to put your martingale on, be sure to have the knot on the neck strap to the left side, put it over her head, the hobble strap goes under the gullet of the saddle and over the horn. That prevents the neck strap from coming up to their ears. Snap your snap to your cinch. On the sliding gag, I want to have a little bit of a wrinkle in the corner, but I don't want it pulled up tight. The beauty of this gag is the release. When you release your hand, everything releases. I ride this gag with a martingale, and anytime I ride a martingale, I like to have some kind of little safety on my reins to prevent the martingale ring from getting hung up on the rein ends. With any new piece of tack, it's a good idea to let them feel of it on the ground first, and I will pull on it to where they know what it is before I get on them. 